to get to this situation right here because I covered this yesterday uh, with David Banner. He said he's 50 years old, and now he's saying he wants to find a wife. <laughs> he wants to find you know wife and have kids at 50, not knowing he's only setting himself up to be uh, ravaged through the system. But we're gonna get we're gonna see. Let's get to this real quick. All right. So David Banner. Finding a wife is top priority now. I'll fail at life without having kids. So he just do has accomplished a lot. Actor, musician, millionaire. But he says none of that means nothing. None of that means nothing without having kids. Now, to a degree, I can semi understand the part about the kids i mean he wants to have kids before he dies i can i can't all the way relate because i don't think kids define a man nor does a wife but everybody wants to procreate even me i plan on having kids before i pass away you know it's just it's what it is so uh but the wife part the girlfriend part he said he says Finding a wife is top priority. Feeling like you have to find a wife before you die or you fail is one of the reasons why niggas in the situation they're in now. You know, uh, constantly being in courts with these hoes. But you think you got to have it before you die. Sort of like Tyrese. All right. It says David Banner is elaborating on his recent comments. So he made these comments. TMZ had to come in. They picked it up. Let's see what he's talking about, man. not gonna let you get out of here without playing the bachelor david banner's looking for his wife what does that what does that uh, mean yeah, man um I, I don't know i love people for who they are you know you know my mom told me that my mom said one thing that she liked about me is i've never brought the same woman in her house before that you know i i try to find god in everybody the only reason why i made that statement the, the mom, your mom even knows. She's glad she brought a different woman because even your mom was like, oh, she she probably seen the talent in you. She knew what the was about. So your, your, your mom liked that you didn't, you know, let one bitch take advantage of that. So your mom was actually trying to help you out. Man, man to be honest with you, it wasn't for baiting or none of those things. It's just that my therapist told me, he said, David Banner, you always talking about the people, the people, what you want to see for black people. He said, but you don't treat yourself like that. Like, bro, think about all this success that I've been able to have in my life, bro. But I don't have just about any of the things that matter the most. The things that matter the most are for free, but you usually only get one of them. See, here we go. See, them therapists. That's why them therapists is, you know, see, see how this therapist got him making these crazy statements. That's why I don't, that's why I don't fuck with therapy. What you going to tell me, the f you gonna tell me about life? I don't understand. I I make more money than you. I've been through more. Sh than you. I need to be your therapist. Now I just think you know, these rich people go to therapy. What can a therapist tell you? They don't have the the experience to be able to divulge. That's how I feel. I mean, most of a lot of these therapists. They don't think, what do you? What can you tell me? You know, now this therapist got this nigga over here looking stupid. Oh, I gotta find a wife and the kids. I've always wanted children, bro. I've always been one of the few people, bro, that wanted a family. You know, and all those things. And I've gotten just about everything else I've wanted in my life, and except those things that really. You could have had a family anytime. You ain't want no family. You was living your best life, being David Banner like a pimp. You was pumping a dunk. If you wanted that, you could have had it. Maybe you can't have kids. I don't know. I always wanted a family. You could have had that shit any time. You knew deep down. See, he was really following the red pill lifestyle, but now he's just, just like, you know, now he got to back up these dumb ass statements, he said. I hope I hope you playing, dog, because any bitch, you, they going to come through. Three years from now, we're going to hear a story on TMZ. David Banner being divorced by such and such in court battle. Your life going just fine. Now he's trying to mess it up. Matter. 
Bro, and if I die and don't have children, bro, I think I fail the reason why we're here to exist. We talk all of that stuff, but we are here to 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 keep God's image. I think all of us together, if we were combined and could put all our faces together, that would be God. And if I don't allow my children to 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 be on this planet, bro, then I die when I die. All of a sudden, see that old. But once again, you could you can you can still have kids without a wife. All right, you can have kids without a wife. All right, like like this is like bro, you really finna ruin your shit. All right, you can easily you can get a surrogate, you can work out something, but you think you got to get married to have kids? Oh yeah, just kiss that wealth goodbye. And a lot of these niggas learn at an old age, like G- Judge Greg Mathis. Hopefully, this nigga don't got to learn at an old age of the of what this system would do to you especially as a black man with money you know you know having children having somebody else and i also think man like i i i wrote this this short poem one time i said that i chased my dreams so hard that when i finally raised my head i realized i ran off and left everything else hard as we work you know, your nephews and, you know, my mama or her cousins, as soon as I die, come take all that stuff free. But unless I have children, bro, unless... I'm- yes, all your all your bone family members, yeah, they're going to get all your shit for free. Now. <laughs> That's what he's thinking about, too. Like, But once again, if you want to have kids, bro, you could have been did that. You could still do it. But you think you got to find a wife to do it, you're going to be in the... A uh, hell of a lot of trouble. Dude. That nigga David Banner gonna be dropping new albums like that nigga Dr. Dre. That nigga Dr. Dre got hit with that. Uh, that nigga Dr. Dre got hit with that. Uh, alimony and all type of shit. Then NWA came out. Start dropping new albums. Performing with Kendrick. New music. The only thing you can look forward to with this is new David Banner music gonna be dropping because you gonna have to pay for them wife and them kids. However much money he think he got now. He ain't got Dr. Dre money. I know that. He got it good right now. Somebody tell David Banner, hey, bro, your life is good right now. You can have kids without legally castrating yourself. You can, you know, you want to maintain your, your sovereignty, nigga. I'm able to pass something on, then that matters. I just want to say this to black men. Um, who you choose as your wife, bro, especially if you're successful, can change the whole lifeline of somebody else. You don't even got a wife. What the f*** are you talking about? I want to talk to black... Why niggas are... I, got... I want to give black men a... a word of advice. Nigga, you don't even got a fucking wife. You ain't even chose a fucking black wife or whatever the fuck. Here we go, man. Niggas over there. I want to talk to black man real quick. You know, uh, black men, you know... Uh... You know, I want to say whoever you choose in life, nigga. How would you know? How would you know? This is lineage, bro. Especially if you're successful, can change the whole lifeline of somebody else's lineage, bro. It's like we work so hard to become all of these things, and then we we give it away. I think you know without responsibility, bro. And I don't mean just the cars and the houses. I mean your DNA. Bro, one thing I thought about, man, and maybe I'm a deep thinker. And Big Daddy Kane told me to stop worrying about overthinking. He said, most people don't think at all. So he said, Banner, I'm glad you overthink. But I think about this, man, for, for our DNA to be so strong, even from a sports perspective. We're not even talking about a mental, a spiritual perspective. We irresponsibly, irresponsibly give it away to groups of people who historically have never cared about us, bro. Are you, t- you talking about probate court? Yes. If you don't, if you don't have a will, we don't have kids. Now let me let me rephrase that. If you don't have a will, then yes, then people will get your shit. This is why you have a will. You can prevent this shit too. You don't have to get married, have kids to prevent this. Okay. Uh, if you don't want your shit going to people who don't care about you, you, it's, you create this thing called a will. Okay, the thing that Prince didn't have, for some reason, famous Michael Jackson didn't. For some reason, I don't know why. Well, I don't know. I think Michael Jackson didn't have a will, but this is why. It's, this is why it's so important to get into you know trust and probate. 
So you have to worry about your fucking fat ass, bum ass Auntie Bertha getting your shit when you die. You know, it just so that you have to worry about these bummy people getting your shit. You can, you can either also have a surrogate, but if you don't want to do that, you don't want to have kids at all. You can create a will, okay, and that will can be used to guide your assets wherever you want to guide them. See, niggas always think, oh, the, the final answer is a wife and kids. No, nigga, if you're worried about people taking your stuff, you make a will. And so when I make that statement, I want y'all to know that I'm saying that statement with responsibility. And I also want people to know that we're human. I'll leave y'all with this, bro. Snoop told me one time, he said, Banner, bro, I really respect you. And, and, and bro, I really thank you. And I say, why? He said, you are one of the only people on this planet that ever called me and asked me how I'm doing. And I said, uh, you know why I do that? He said, why? I said, because don't nobody ever call me and ask me how I'm doing. So when I say those kind of things, I just try to put out to people that we still human, that we still hurt, and that we still, you know, long for things that people long for each and every day, bro. And I really... So, you, so you're basically saying you ain't mean it. So you're not even looking for... You just... So you're not looking for a wife, you're looking for a wife. Which one? Either way... You know, it's bad optics because, first of all, you don't have a wife. And second of all, niggas do not need to be finding uh, more wives at this point in the game, in my opinion, with the way, you know, uh, the way this shit is set up. Really appreciate your interview. Um, I really appreciate the questions that you ask, bro. And, bro, continue to grow, man. And we need people like you out here in media, man. Keep going. And somebody told me once, dog, they said it's not, you know, what people would think about you in five years, what they think about you in 20 years, what they think about you in 200 years, if they even know you existed. <laughs> I'm, I, look, and no offense. Shout out to David Banner, incredible artist. But ain't gonna, nobody ain't going to know your ass in 200 years. I mean, you ain't got no hits like that. I, 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 once again, shout out to David Banner, not taking anything away from him, but. Nigga, ain't nobody gonna know any of us in 200 years. Who do we know from 200 years ago? Barely anybody. But 1824, who the fuck know? What, Abraham Lincoln? I don't know. Need to be having these ex ex exorbitant thoughts. They need to know me in 200 years. No, you don't. Nigga, 200 years, I'll probably be reincarnated as, a, as another motherfucker. Probably won't even, won't even give a fuck. All right? I don't know what, what they talking about. Yeah, in 200 years, we have to know them. Hmm. Nah, y'all don't, don't need to know me in 200 years. You know? But, uh, yeah, shit crazy. But, yeah, that, that, shit, that shit is wild. Yeah, Lil Wayne would probably be the only artist in 200 years who has a fan base. I don't know. There's no music I'm listening to for two... Was music even created 200 years ago? Who knows? I don't know, man. Who is in this chat named Nigger, Nigger Man? <laughs> Somebody got a username Nigger Man in the chat. You niggas is fucking... Y'all niggas is, is crazy, man. Uh, it is what it is, man. Uh, but yes, with that being said,